guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here i am daquana white okay i bring you plus size fashion content as well as lifestyle and beauty content but this one here is going to be a vloggy vlog um i'm actually going to the beach with my girlfriend for my birthday this weekend my birthday is in five days where we decided to go before my birthday comes um Oh, my phone is ringing. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> um, anywho, so we are actually in my new office location, which I'm super excited about. And, and you mm -hmm. may actually see this vlog before the move-in vlog. I'm not really sure, but I have a lot of announcements in that vlog, including the fact that, as you can see, I'm wearing my new active wear line. So yeah, in that video, you may see this one before that one. I'm not really sure because this one is like... I don't have to worry about, you know, sponsors, approving content and editing and having to go back. Like, this is all me. Okay. So, I don't need no sponsors or nothing like that. But, um, yeah. So, I had some big announcements there. One is the new office location. Two is the fact that my activewear line is launching on my birthday, June 9th to June 12th. It is sustainable. So, um, yeah, it is on demand and we only do it for four days because we make it to order so that we are, um, not wasting materials and we do use luxury surplus materials to do this. So yeah, it is an on demand line. It's so, so cute. You guys saw the royal blue and red, um, color wave. Now we have the light pinks, like, uh, so, so pretty, but, um, yeah, this launches on June 9th. If you're wondering about that. But um, like I said, if I haven't mentioned already, I'm going to the beach and I will show you guys what I packed and all that good stuff. And I don't know if I'm going to do an unpack with me when we get there or just show you and tell you before we get there, before we leave. Um, I came over here to the office around 7 slash 8. I think it was around 7 to um, film a Shein video and go ahead and make sure I'm not super behind on work. Like I swear for me. I quote unquote never have time. I always have to make time, but I feel like with the move and everything, I didn't have enough time to really make sure I was good on everything. So while I'm in the car driving down to the beach with Bay, I will be on my iPad. Hopefully it's charged. I will be on that, um, you know, checking some emails and getting back to customers and things like that because I just haven't had the chance. I will contact Ann, who is my virtual assistant, and make sure she gets back to people. Again, moving and all of that was a lot but anywho i'm not gonna hold y'all too long for this intro let's go ahead and hop into this beach vlog i had to make my ramen i've been craving they went and got me some ramen from the stove but i've been craving it but i ain't had no um green beans or no broccoli so i had to put peas and carrots but it tastes good though yeah i get to put my feet up oh they look dusty hold on <laughs> oh i ain't put no lotion on bay oh my gosh oh they car clean I can't relate. We made it. Got my stuff there. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to lay all my outfits out. That's all I'm about to do, y'all. I'm going to unpack with y'all. I dropped my phone. That is what you call intrusive thoughts, people. All right, y'all. So we about to get into how I packed my suitcase. Now it's heavy. So first, I only like to do a bag, bag, suitcase. That's it. So this actually had just my water. I opened it in the car. I had a snack bag, um, my electronics chargers. This is my like main purse. And I like to put it in a bigger bag. This is from BBT and Co, by the way. Um, I'll link it. It just has like my laptop and my iPad. And also an outfit from BBT and Co, which I might wear on the way back. Okay, y'all. So let's do the unpack with me. I'm not really going to take everything out like I thought I was. That's just a lot of work. So on this side, we'll go here first. We have... This is my jewelry bag okay so we have my jewelry in there then this is my makeup bag so we have makeup in there 
And then we have my robe, child. This is my dirty clothes bags. Okay. So then, um, some of the like last minute stuff was just thrown on top. So we have my beach towel. Then this is body towel, body towel, body towel. And then I have my own washcloths. Um, they do provide them, but no. Um, some undies. This is mostly, I bought mostly Yitty underwear. Let me show you nothing else over there. Yeah, just underwear. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get a short, uh, the thong. This is just like a chill top from ASOF and a bandeau. This is not outfits. This is pajamas. A little tank and some neon shorts just to lounge around in. So then I just got some little sandals here, my tampons. Um, this is like a sleep shirt and this was a last minute thought because I do have my natural crystal deodorant in here, but I was like, I might want to use this one as well. Um, so this is my hygiene bag. So then this is a clear book bag, which I will take on the beach with my towels and water and stuff in there. Um, that's pretty much that. Now, I got my big old thing at Dr. Bronner's because I didn't know, like, um, I didn't feel like transferring it to a smaller bottle. So, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, pajamas and light work over here. Okay. So, then, you come on over here. And you already know we protecting the wig with the wig bag. Thrifty Slay's very own wig bag. So, I got my white heels, white purse um and then i have this white like silky i mean white <laughs> blue silky dress which is just like an option i would wear it with the white or um i have this two-piece set um short set which i would wear with the white now those are just like last minute outfit ideas i have three swimsuits all the same different colors so i have nude orange and blue so that's that. Now then over here, um, I just bought all my shades that I recently hauled from Pretty Little Thing. I have, yeah, actually, the stuff that I um be sponsored by, I actually use. So I have my Scentbird. This is not sponsored. <laughs> this is just my vlog. But yeah, I got my Scentbird with me because um, I didn't want to carry big old bottles of perfume. And then I just have four pairs of shades and... I was gonna bring my Lorve, but I ain't even really unboxed them yet. So I ain't put them in here. So this orange bag actually goes with this outfit, which is some denim shorts um, from YMI. And then I have this orange top and these white mules, really comfortable. And those are two. So some more outfits I have is this blue one. This was just like a last minute. I don't really know. Like it might be something I throw on today. You know, just something chill. I don't really know where we're going tonight. So we shall see. Um, and then I have my giddy leggings for outfits like that. But also for, let me move that out the way. Outfits like this two piece set from ASOP. And then to go with that, I just have some of these slides, which I should have put on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Then I have that dress. This is another Yitty shaping thong. I told you guys I got every color. Um, so yeah, I just put it with this dress. But um, this is a cute like um, printed halter type dress. So that's that. And then I have this orange dress, which is long, sexy, slinky. And I would wear that with the white lace up heels or something. And then I have more um, Yitty. Is this a thong or a brief? A brief from Yitty. And then this is just like, oh, a feather. Oh, it's kind of linty. I hope it's a lint roller here. But this is like a LBD because you never know. I got this so long ago from Zigu. And it just looks so good on. So, yeah. That's what I got there. I have this fairy top which is a crop top and um some stacked pants from asof and i did throw a bra in there with my ones so 
that's gonna be a cute chill fit and i'll probably wear my yitty leggings underneath um so that's that and then last outfit is this beige skirt um along with two white top options so the more busty top and then like a button top that i could tuck in and these are brand new these pink lace up heels which are like the white but just in pink and yeah a bra under there and then that purse right there so these are the outfits <laughs> Y'all, this is my first time coming to Hooters. You see booty? I got strawberry daiquiri and she got the beach retreat. Hey y'all, so today I am not doing a lot of um, makeup. And typically when I'm on vacation, y'all, it'd be like I have a whole makeup bag and then I don't do no makeup. But um, I might do it tonight when we go on the strip for real. But um, I am wearing shades, so you're really not gonna see my makeup. I don't even like earrings. I'm not gonna earrings. I didn't bring my wand curler. So this is probably gonna be the last day of me wearing this unit until maybe when we go home. Um, I think I'm gonna switch over to my uh, kinky curly. So yeah, um, it's humid out here and stuff. It's not even humid, it's like moist. So I guess that's humid, but it's not hot or uncomfortable. I'm gonna put some oil on my face. I put my serum on already. This is what intro. one ring i only bought one gold ring i don't know why but that's how that's looking hair is cute then okay um i have one chain on the inside because it was messing up my fairy but so i have three chains on and a bunch of bracelets and i feel like if you're not if i'm not doing makeup i like to be like accessorized you try to get cute. You're trying to get cute. Wait, you know what? No. Let me see your shoes. Wow. You annoying. You really trying to get cute. suit that I have on is this beige one um, or tan nudes whatever 
and yeah she went with her orange trunks knowing darn well i wasn't wearing my orange no, swimsuit no, no, no. i told you why are you wearing the orange tomorrow or maybe i wear blue i think i wear blue tomorrow black tomorrow he's so cute you're so cute y'all i was in the pool and my bum buns came out Some of it. I don't care. That shit was busting. See? You just love taking it for babe. So we just gonna clip her in. They can see you. Oh, boo. They can't see you. <laughs> switch into this pocketbook um because i'm gonna wear my white shoes y'all see it though because i do plan to take a picture all right so this is the dress from fashion nova i got on my yitty brief because i had to wear panties with this um and i didn't want to wear shorts because slit on the side so i just got on the yitty brief and then my savage x new strapless so it's like close to skin tone you see and yeah that's what i did here my necklace and my bracelet is from verano hill they sent that over like so long ago then i got some shein rings the snakes and then this is what i told y'all before which i wore for my birthday photo shoot i got that like i thought i had got it for my birthday but i actually got it one christmas when i was jewelry shopping for my friends but I'm cute, y'all. Um, yeah, y'all can't see my shoes. Can I back over there? <laughs> Anywho, I got on these little mules that are also from Fashion Nova. Slide them on. Really short heel, but makes noise. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now it's fine. Mm. Those look so cute. I want some. Right, guys so here we are entering the wax museum eddie murphy i think was the first person i will say it was kind of 50 50 in here as far as getting the figurines or figures spot on with the wax um a lot of people like j-lo was pretty good um morgan freeman i know he looks older in person but they did good on um what was her name it was just a few people you know they did really good on some and then others not so much let's just say it like that snoop dogg i actually really really enjoyed their uh remake of him i would say beyonce looked a little gray we'll see her in a minute <laughs> but um i definitely oh babe her favorite person was bob marley and I think they did really good on Tupac also. Um, Cardi B was probably my favorite as far as their rendition. Of, why did they do his feet like that? As far as their rendition of, you know, as far as their artistry, I'll say. So, yeah, this is Babe being silly. And I don't think they did good on Denzel at all. Um, Michael B. Jordan, his hair is definitely not that texture. Holly Berry, I guess that was the wig of the time, but they did good on Samuel Jackson. So, anywho, this is, uh, oh, rest in peace, Robin Williams. Um, they did good on Prince, Bruno, Eminem. Um, but anywho, I wanted to tell you guys about the horror part. They said, oh, everybody comes out laughing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we excited to go through, and we get through, and... It was scary. So we left out the emergency exit. We didn't even go all the way through. Okay. So yeah, nah. I think I need a group of at least five people to get through that thing. It was me and Bay, and I was scared as hell. So yeah, we went through the mirror maze and it was definitely a maze. I did not trust being fat on these acrylic floors, but we did it. Um, so I recorded the museum on my other phone. So I'll show y'all and tell y'all about everything. Me and Bay quit the horror part. So um, I wanted to show you what I got from Marshalls. Um, so I found some of these disposable cups, but I do want to still get my reusable cup to take to the office. 
And then I got this strawberry milkshake, which smells really, really good. And then um, some glasses. My other pair are my pairs, so hold on. So then I also got these glasses. So I'm just, I'm trying to get my shades up, okay? So then I also got this little cute purse. And that is a Steve Madden. Um, I think it's for like little girls, but it's so cute. And it was only like, what, $15 or something. And then I got some Philosophy Guava Coconut. This is for the office. That's for the house. Um, this was $17. So then I also got Dolce and Gabbana, Gabbana, and this is actually for men. So I might actually, this was fifty. I might actually get this to bay. I didn't know it was for men. Um, then I got this purse, Aldo brand, and then this purse, Steve Madden brand. the Hershey sports bras and I also bought some reusable bags for the um when I'm going back and forth from the office this is what we took at the wax museum so cute she was playing dead I didn't know what to do um and then it's another one but hold on because it's a receipt in there but that's what that one looks like super duper cute Alright y'all, so we are about to go to the pool, hot tub, all that jazz, and then we're going to go to the beach for a um, slight picnic. We decided to go ahead and just get Jersey Mike's instead of going to Walmart and buying mayo and turkey, all that. We just got subs from Jersey Mike's and we're about to get like some drinks and chips or whatever from the vending machines and yeah i have on my orange swimsuit and i decided to put on my green shades which i wore all day today so yeah and when i'm at the pool and the beach locks are out um i do have to wash my hair tonight uh or maybe tomorrow morning i don't know i just don't want to have wet hair while traveling so maybe tomorrow night once i'm home but yeah the she and swimsuit is super cute i wore the tan one yesterday this one's giving okay i will say i just really wish these dresses were a bit longer she's calling me uh, so today is the last day of the trip again you will see inserted clips of the hollywood wax museum which was my favorite thing that we did thus far outside of just be um spending time together i um, mean being here with her which is my most favorite thing but that um i feel like the museum was better than the aquarium i feel like the aquarium was very much so kid oriented and not like wow factor oh my gosh um the sharks were cool like the little shark tunnel that's what i mean by the sunset when they start changing colors up there all right y'all so we are heading out my hair look a little rough because i ain't do not really to it um i took some pics they packed her stuff in a car and now got my stuff to take but yeah that is that and i want chick-fil-a oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, they got her so she shot on these. Just got the shower. Um, and we're wrapping it up. We came back in today. I went to the office for about three or four hours and then I came back here 
8 and now I am going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this beach trip. I really enjoyed myself. Um, you know, like being me, being like an influencer and entrepreneur, like I do try to live in the moment and stuff, but it can be hard when you got like so much work to do at home. I'm trying to get better lighting, but when you got like so much work to do and you know it in the back of your mind, so it was nice to be able to take a break, a breather, but I did come back and get basically straight to work so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this beach vlog i very much so enjoyed myself um and it was the break i needed before the launch and everything this week so yeah